Basketball from Nerd to Pro. That's the name of the new book written by former national basketballer and pro Kibwe Trim that was officially launched at his alma mater in St. Mary's College. Ken Fuentes was present. The former national basketballer and a social activist is one of this country's most successful basketballers on and off the court and has decided to inspire the younger ones through his experiences by writing about them. It basically speaks about my journey from being a very academically inclined, more introverted type of kid. Um, like growing up, I was you know, tall, skinny, big knees, big feet, I used to get called a lot of names. And um, you know, at some points, I had the tendency to believe sometimes what people are saying about me until I got my confidence together and I was like, listen, it doesn't matter what anybody else believes about you, it matters what you believe about yourself. So the book is just a motivational tool to help young people who struggle with those type of issues. Trim, through his Dreamcatchers Foundation, also mentors, tutors, and provides financial aid to kids excelling in sport, education, and the arts. He says it's imperative for the students to understand the importance of combining them all. It, they go hand in hand because at any level, if you look at it, um, in order to get a scholarship to play basketball, you had to pass the SATs. If you can't pass the SATs, you can't go to a Division One university. Now, when you get to university, if you don't have a certain grade point average, you're not going to play, right? And then even after you graduate from pro, at, after you graduate from college and go pro, at one point, you're going to not be playing pro anymore. You're going to have to deal with business. You're going to have to deal with a career. If your academics are not in order, you're going to struggle. So it's, it's a big part of it. You got to, it goes hand in hand. Sharing a similar view was president of the Trinidad and Tobago Olympic Committee, Brian Lewis, who was happy that the St. Mary students were able to see one of their own make it through the education and sport. Well, no, we, we come from an environment and, and a society where um, you, you're kind of basically being forced to choose. So it's either your academic and then everything else gets put aside, um, including sport, to focus on academics. But as I said, in Kibwe Trim, you have an example of someone who was able to balance both and he fulfilled his potential and it's great to see him giving back, both as an entrepreneur and with his foundation, Dream Chasers International. Trim joins a growing list of outstanding trainees who have been successful on and off the court with names like Otto Borden, Wendell Motley, Derek Murray, and Cleopatra Burrell among them. Kent Fuentes, C-Sports.